Hey, Spriggs are. I have a box and another box. And I do unboxings. So, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm really tired, <laughs> but I want to do this haul uh, for you because I want to show you mainly well, what's in this box. This is something I purchased from Howard, who cut me a nice deal on this. Something It's one of those things that I never can have enough of. So, I, actually, let's start with this one. Uh, from Howard. All right. Look at that. Look at all the track. It's nine volt track, so it's the metal track. So he had a bunch of this that he was going to be selling, but he asked me if I wanted to buy it. Oh, look, it's some of the dark bluish gray and dark gray, so the two different versions of the curve track. And while... Um, Curve track is the one thing we just got plenty of. Uh, but the main thing that I wanted was, the, of course, the straight tracks. Always looking for more straight tracks. So he had quite a few in this lot. And by the looks of it, there's, again, some that's from the, the l lower production run. The later years of 9-volt was the dark bluish gray. The original and the longest run was the dark gray so this is i think it's a case where the stuff that's older is actually far more abundant uh, it's one of those ironic things actually with train track the further back you go the more abundant it becomes and cheaper it's like uh well except for the power functions tracks but like nine volt track uh generally more expensive even more expensive uh no wait no more expensive less expensive then you get to the the gray track era is less expensive than the blue track still the, the first lego train track still the cheapest there is <gasps> oh, the crossing so i'm always glad to get another crossing uh it's one of those pieces that lego made in every generation of track except for the current one so ever since 2000 what 2006 2007 whenever remote control started that later became power functions it's now whatever they call it. Uh, they don't make crossings anymore. Why? What's the deal? Uh, but the the ninety degree crossing was something in every other error. Error. I say I, I cannot say the word era. Era. Uh, uh, but man, look at all that straight track. So tons of straight track, and then more curved and more straight. Uh, but he also had some other parts here that go with trains which include a 9-volt train motor. And some wheels that go with trains. That looks more like a Jack Stone base right there. <laughs> oh, these are always good to get, the, uh, the gray. I don't know if these are light bluish gray or light gray. Uh, the little things that go on the train wheels like that, you know. To make it look like it's got the little parts and then there's some black ones here Ooh, magnets magnets are the lego magnet for the trains used to be super cheap and in recent years i, I mean like in the last couple of years they become very expensive which i think is primarily because of things like brick model railroader where you got people building their own custom trains and they don't make it anymore on top of that but yeah these magnets are getting super expensive but this this seems to be like a bonus lot here i don't think this i don't recall seeing this in the pictures he sent me or maybe it was i just didn't notice it um ah look the most important piece in here a uh, tipper truck part <laughs> uh, a motor another magnet um i don't know whose hair that is <laughs> Uh, a Belleville piece, and we got some instruction manuals, 1969, you got an ice planet, and what is this? This is a catalog of some sorts, or part of a catalog. It's a Technic catalog, is what it is, the Technic catalog. And then, uh, this is like it's from one of those multi-packs right here, I could be wrong. Is this 6538? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's not a multi-pack set, I don't think, then. Just looked like it was. For, oh, a little sports car. 
Wait a minute, I collect red and black cars, and I don't think I have this one. So now i got to start piecing this together. Should be common enough parts. Uh, so thank you. How, oh, look, there's another instruction manual. 1624. Um, and these are the little pamphlets that would come with the train tracks. Uh, but yeah, that is a lot of uh, track. <laughs> a finger puppet. That's literally what these are called. Yeah, they're finger puppets. Let me see if I can focus on the finger puppets. His face is blurry, but there we go. Hi. Wait, I'm a girl. I think. I don't know. Anyway, this finger puppet. So I don't know if this is going to fit in my curve track box. Yeah, the straight track box is kind of full too. So I'm going to have to start uh, another box of each, I guess. I do not even know how he got all that to fit in that one box. <laughs> There's so much. Uh, I'll figure that out after the video uh, as I continue uh, to make the collection more unorganized. All right, so this is from Czech Brick Shop, I think, something like that. It's from Czech Republic. Is that what they call that area now? All right, this is one of those things I've been wanting to get since I first heard about it. And man, this is overkill with the box. This box is way bigger. Uh, so. Hopefully everything's protected. Oh yeah, it is. Um, we got this. Yellow trucks. Uh, in addition to um, red and black things, I also collect yellow trucks. All right, get this out of the bubble wrap. Oh, great. Oh, I bent the box. It's one of those flimsy boxes. So this is one of those Lego sets. It's for one of the store grand openings. I think it was in the UK. Uh, one day it'll probably show up at another store, so I probably paid way too much of this for this. But there weren't very many of them for sale. And this seller had two, so I went ahead and did the only sensible thing. I bought two of them. One to build, one to collect. Um... Yeah, a yellow truck. So I collect yellow trucks. These things are probably, see how they are in here. Oh yeah, they're almost, almost like a Ziploc bag. Look at that. What do you know? Uh, this is the, the front cover of the box is the instruction manual. So uh, I guess I should just build this thing. What is this? The this uh, the Jack Stone of Lego yellow trucks. Look how big this base is! Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can do step one. Wait a minute. Which way does it go? I quit. It's too hard. And there's our sad little <laughs> yellow truck. Um, very small. I mean, they probably carry as much in a bicycle. Uh, my fingers do not fit in this thing to put the packages in there. It's such a tiny little door. Uh, it is also hard for my little fat fingers to put our female driver. Oh, let me show you the driver. It's this girl. Yeah, that's her. And we're going to put her inside our truck all right that's definitely i can't do it my hands do not fit in here okay get over it i'm gonna take the windshield off good grief all right got her in there I'll never get her out again you're stuck i right, got the girl in there and that is a very overpriced, well actually it was free if you went to the store. I paid too much for it. Did have a few extra pieces um, in the build. I had two, uh, the clear cheese slopes extra. That's not normal. I did put them both on there. I don't think there's a third one that I left off. Uh, but that is uh, the yellow delivery truck uh, to add to the yellow truck collection. <clears throat> So, 
That yellow truck is one that I pieced together. It's one of the Lego Inside Tour trucks. That's actually would be one of the ones I would really want. It's got re reproduction stickers. Um, the other one I have from the uh, Billy Thompson truck, which I don't know where I put it. It's uh, got authentic stickers, but it's also one I pieced together. I don't, so I don't have the box or any instructions. But this one, I guess, is technically authentic. Uh, this is the sealed one. And so I'm going to add that to the yellow truck collection, which I got a few. I don't know if I have all of them. There may be some micro builds in a set somewhere I don't have. I'm just looking on my... You know, it all started back in the day. The truck's like this. So this is the 335 yellow transport truck. There may even be an HO scale one. Um, what are those HO... I had some HO... Oh yeah. Like, I don't know if there's... There's a one that's yellow and blue. This is the army green one. Um, I got to I gotta do a video of all the HO scale stuff as soon as I find it. In fact, things... So like back in the day with YouTube, I like to do comparisons of things like I do collection videos. Like I even did one with the red and black stuff uh, one in, one time. But uh, until I get more organized, it's a little harder to do because I only got a limited number of things set up here. And a lot of other things are just packed away. Again, I've been focusing more on my BrickLink stuff than my actual collecting stuff, although I still collect. I actually built something. Can you believe it? I actually built something. It's not the only thing I've built. Uh, but I wanted to build that. I have no, you know, I've already, you know, <laughs> I had all this organized and not as cluttered, but it's so easy to set things on there. I'm not going to do it with with this uh, thing. So yeah, that is another exclusive. Again, I think this was one of the UK stores, Robin Hole. You could let me know one of you guys over there on that side of the pond. <laughs> let me know. Uh, it would have been free. I, w I would think uh, I paid for it, and it came from Czech Republic of all places. Uh, I hope I didn't pay too much for it. I bought two just in case I did. <laughs> and now I have an empty box to show you. This is just a standard box. The only thing that is truly unique is not even the box. It's the instruction manual. And I'm, I haven't gone through and looked at the inventory. Like uh, the, This is a printed Lego logo piece. I don't know about the base. Everything else I know is pretty much in other sets. I doubt the base is exclusive, and I doubt even the Lego uh, wall panel piece is exclusive. But this is. <laughs> this is not. This is probably a box they reuse in a lot of these types of builds, like the lightsabers and stuff. So I overpaid uh, for this instruction manual. <laughs> All these pieces, man. I probably you can't get on bricks and pieces for a fraction of what I paid uh, for the rest of it. But uh, hey, I got a bunch of more track from Howard. Thank you, Howard. Uh, so I, I wanted I, the idea for a video I have is the train track set up with the tipper trucks. So you know, I I want to do a video with the tipper trucks, and I I uh, it, it may actually be a thing where I have more tipper trucks than I do straight tracks, if you can believe that. Because this is five inches long. A tipper truck is three and something, 3.1 inches long or something. I can't, I can't remember, it's, it's 11, it's tipper truck is 11 studs long. This is 16 studs. So five studs less, I think, for a tipper truck. <laughs> uh, do I have any tipper trucks I could compare? <laughs> so, yeah, it's about, yeah, five studs less um, a tipper truck is. But I have over 1,200 tipper trucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> I need a lot of straight. I want to do... And I don't, you know, the thing is, I don't even know I have an area where I could set this up. I know I can't. I'll have to measure my yard from the road to the far back of the yard. I have to do that one day because I, what I, my, what I envision in my, and it's not completely level. There's a grade there, 
It's a little more flat, flattish in the back, but I, I think of things like a football field. I want, and that's one of the things with the Tipper Truck Collection. It is longer than a football field now, officially. It's when I say football, I'm talking about American football, not the soccer. Uh, but yeah, I could go from in the far end of the end zone to the other end of the end zone with Tipper Trucks back to back. So it could. There's a football field near me, but there's always people up there. And I know that it would take me about a day <laughs> to set up and film and take apart uh, 1,200 tipper trucks and the amount of track. Because you just think about, like, even if this only takes four seconds, then I got to multiply that by, I don't know, 400 <laughs> to, to set it all up. So these, these are the things, you know, I shouldn't be giving away my my plans or my secrets or things I want to do, but that's what I want to do. I want to set up a, do a long track. Now, I see a lot of people do long track setups. I, do, I want it to be just straight, as long as, you know, straight as possible. i got plenty of curves, but just where I could have them all in one line where you could look, unless something was obstructing your your view, it'd just be one continuous track. That's one possible setup I have in mind. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm tired. I'm going to go. Uh, thank you to the channel members who keep the lights on here, literally. And uh, I will be back very soon with another video. Uh, did you get the yellow truck from the store exclusive that I can't remember the name of the store? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys. Bye. Where's the other yellow trucks?